The Tivoli Theater suffered an attack from suspected vandals late last weekend. News 12's Nick Hill checked out the damage and how the Tivoli is moving forward with renovations despite the setback. Chattanooga police are still searching for the suspects they believe vandalized the Tivoli Center building on the night of Saturday, January the 14th. This is the building that is adjacent to the Tivoli Theater and historically was known as the Fowler's Building. The CEO of the Tivoli Foundation, Nick Wilkinson, tells what they believe happened the weekend before last. From best we can tell, they took some sort of debris, either a brick or something off the road. Uh, well, I know it was a brick because it was uh, in the window. It was actually on the floor in the building after I went in to, to check out the damage. Here along West 7th Street, you can see evidence of what potentially happened. Wilkinson believes that vandals took these bricks that you see right here along the ground. They took them up, went into the parking garage right behind me, went up into the parking garage and threw them across the street at their buildings. The amount of damages are significant, costing the Tivoli thousands of dollars. This is an old uh, historic property, uh, and so the building and the windows, obviously uh, the window damage itself is very significant, and then obviously all the repair work that we had to spend our time and money on uh, to, to, to make sure that it was shored up and there wasn't any further damage uh, both to the property or to the street below. Wilkinson says the planned renovations for the Tivoli Center building into the Tivoli Performing Arts Center are still on track despite the distraction of this vandalism. He has a message for those who committed this act. You know, this is a beautiful old building. Uh, Chattanooga has so many wonderful old buildings. Uh, you know, we need to preserve these places, not, not try to tear them down. If you have any information that can help solve this case, contact Chattanooga Police. You can remain anonymous. In Chattanooga, Nick Hill, News 12.